Hello, Antioch family. This is Clarence Hill, and I am so excited to talk about our updated purpose statement that embodies even more of who we are. It says that we are a spiritual family with a global mission to make disciples and to plant churches and to work for the peace and prosperity of our cities. I personally get excited about how much that language embodies who we are. I've said it repeatedly on Sundays in several messages that Psalms 139 shows us that God has so many more thoughts for us. There are more in number than the sand. I believe it's true for an individual life, for a family, and even for a local church, a spiritual family, that God has a clear assignment for all of us together. We want to get used to using the language of we and us and our, and that's what spiritual family is all about. Jesus made clarity on spiritual family in Matthew chapter 12, verses 46 through 50. And he paused and he said, who is my mother, my sister, and my brother, but those who do the will of him that sent me. So a spiritual family is a community of believers who are seeking to do the will of the Father. What a great place to be. What a great place to bring your friends so that you can have one uh, focus, one vision together. What a great space to raise our children in where we're going after the same thing, to be fruitful doers of His will. We also declare that we are on a global mission. Acts 1 and verse 8 says really clearly that He's sent us to be witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. But we have a global mission to make disciples. Matthew 28, 18 and 19 talks about Jesus receiving all authority in heaven and in earth. And He says, Go therefore, teach all nations, make disciples of all nations, other translations say, and teach them to observe everything that I've commanded you. So we're making disciples and we're going and we're doing that by planting churches. Our name, Antioch, comes from the church of Antioch that you'll find in Acts chapter 13. And it was a mixed church of Jews and Gentiles and it was a mixed church ethnically and there was multi-class. And this was the first place that they were called Christians. And it's also where we get the model of sending. That's where Barnabas and Saul whose Apostle Paul were sent out to the nations, which is the reason why we have the gospel today. We're a sending church. We are a missional church, and we do that by planting churches. We're here to work for the peace and prosperity of our cities. That's a direct quote from Jeremiah chapter 29. It says that if you will go to that place where you're sent, he said, plant gardens, eat the produce of it, have families, have grandchildren, go in that place and prosper. But it also says to pray for it because the welfare of that city will determine your welfare. So we believe with all of our hearts that we've been sent to Norman, sent to Noble, sent to Moore. Some of you are in Oklahoma City and in surrounding cities, but we've been sent to these cities so that we can work together. We are a spiritual family with a global mission to make disciples and to plant churches and to work for the peace and prosperity of our cities. May God bless you as you go forth carrying this vision into every space where God has planted your feet. God bless you.